Hello oh guys, good morning. It's me, Ryan, known as Ryan PDT in the Bear Bolt community channel. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you my AL trade. It's probably called a catching knife. So as you can see, oh my god, look at what happened to AAL. Now it's crazy. So what I did was I catch the knife. <laughs> so I kind of pre-planned trading this. Uh, like I was actually looking to sh to long it somewhere to take it long somewhere at 1232 area. But the thing is when it opened, it's a little bit uh, weak. So I waited for uh, I waited for a few minutes and then uh, check if it's going to hold 1210 area which it did because those are daily levels and then when I saw that it's really resist uh, really supporting 1210 that's where I took it long and then probably just risk somewhere at 1208 like really really tight risk um, my target was just uh, pre-market high and wherever if I see big orders so yeah so as you can see I took it long here took most of my profit here re-added for full position here and then took it took most of my position here it's it's the thing is 1260 is resisting so it's not able to break so uh another reason i was long bias here because of spy spy was really really strong at the open and it was uh most of the stocks was scapped up so it was kind of hard for me to short but if i'm going if i get stopped out here then maybe i'll short it when it pulls back on a vwap so let's say i got stopped here i'll probably reshort it here and then maybe stop somewhere here so yeah let's uh let's watch my trade so yeah as you can see um in my list i have what's this aal ccl and dal so let's let's watch so right at the open on the first 30 seconds that's where i look which one is the highest volume so this one has about 1 million volume so as you can see 1 million volume here 1 million volume for aal it's holding this price i was kind of long biased to this one ccl 1 million volume too far from vwap so i just ignored this because it's too far from vwap the second one was DAL. DAL is probably a good long if it if it you know makes a new one minute high around 24 area and then if you see orders so I don't see orders here so that's why I did not probably trade this so for me like I see really really big orders for uh for AAL like around this one 1210 and they're like fighting with each other so I was closely watching 1210 there you go and then i saw that it held 12 10 and then i took it took it long but the reason why i took it long is because my, my stop was just around 1208 area so i have two more cents before i get stopped and i see that it was printing green come on my stop mental stop was 1208 my price is 1214 there you go now it's above vwap should probably take in some off at high of day break there you go took some off there you go that's what i was hoping for because stock was an ssr if nobody's shorting it trying trying to short it and then it's just gonna squeeze yeah beautiful trade beautiful trade so i waited a little bit let's fast over this because uh i traded the hell out of the stock so there you go took some off looking for 1250 yep i see big orders in there there you go see that 1250 there you go so i took half here took half here and almost all out beautiful trade imagine just risking 1208 probably risking 1208 1205 area there you go i'm almost all out let's pause this and here this is probably where i wanted to have it long so I added for full position here. I have few shares left. Just risking just few cents. 24 area. 22. I actually moved it a bit. It's a, it's a scary ad, but I did a, did have a good win here. That's why I'm a bit confident that it's 
gonna go and then i can risk a little bit of my profit just a little bit come on 1250 i was looking for 1250 those are big orders in there 1250 area i took just a little bit i was really hoping for another breakout around 1260 area like how's my target was 1295 but didn't really work come on sorry this video may take a little longer patience patience uh, i sent some orders in there 1250 yeah so i kind of didn't like this wicks that i see here so it's kind of resisting this area see that so if this breaks 1250 then yeah we're probably gonna go to the next level which is 1260 there you go he took some off there you go there's huge orders at 6855 area there you go buying pressure took some more off So I saw that it's resisting it's resisting 1260 area so I probably have decided to just take most of my uh, position I'm looking to take some more off here at 1250 if it doesn't hold. I like trading round numbers, 1250, $12. Sorry about that. Time to work. So yeah, as you all know, I have a day job. I'm working from home now, so it should be okay. So I took most of it and re-added somewhere here let's pause this yeah, here so this is i decided to add risking around 1230 area i was really hoping uh hoping for 1250 break and then break out 1260 but it looks like it's it's not really happening this is probably a double top ish you look at five minute making higher highs made a new low here though like this one so let's fast forward this a bit oh okay, there you go i should have taken some off There you go. So I was really hoping for uh, twelve fifty, but looking at this, I see green prints. They're like fighting with each other. Let's see who wins. So yeah, I took some more, took some more off there, and uh, it looks like it's it's not it's not really that. Uh, yeah, it's weak. Yeah, as you can see. So I was originally wanted to stop at 1235 area, but uh, maybe I'll put it back in my original uh, stop. So yeah, that's about it. So please, please, if you haven't, please subscribe to Bear Bowl channels. Whew. What a good trade. Yeah. Dangerous trade. Don't do this at home, guys. But if you, you know, if you have a tight risk, then yeah, sure. Why not? Because this this stock it's uh, also an S is on SSR, so it's probably get hard to uh, it's probably hard for the stock to drop a lot because it's on SSR. This, this is why I was kind of confident uh, to risk height. Yeah, there you go. So this is a bear flag ish, so it's probably gonna go down now. Break here and go down. 
Oof. Fast forward this a bit. There you go. I'm all out. So if you like this video, or if you have any questions, just comment down below. And if you have any questions, then I will be happy to answer in the comment section. Cool. Thanks, guys. Have a good day and stay safe. Cheers.